What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another One Punch Man World video. Alright guys, we're going to be talking about something that a lot of people asked during the live stream yesterday and I think I want to address it in a video itself. Um, specifically about uh, World Silver, the best way to get it, all the ways to get it essentially, and also about dailies. Now, let's start off with a simple one, dailies. Now, where do you find dailies? So, essentially dailies are going to be based on a couple things. If you go to your little phone icon over here guys, there's a place called Team Prestige, which is right over here. And if you do the Team Prestige, these are going to be your dailies. Now, the beauty of Team Prestige is you can actually teleport all the way to these characters by using this icon. You can actually search for them. So if we go here, for example, uh, this will take me to the cinema. Now, the cinema allows me to do a daily once a day for bonuses. Now, remember, you can do all the quests many times over. You just get, don't get the daily bonus every time. So first thing the dailies do, and I'll let you guys know, is not give you silver. You will not get world silver from your dailies. What dailies will allow you to do is do these dailies, get bonuses for doing these tasks, and then when you get these tasks done, you can actually get yourself enough points to get yourself a couple items. Specifically, most people want to aim for the limited draw ticket. Okay, that's going to be the important one that you want to go for. So a lot of folks are asking how to do these. These are essential for your growth. You absolutely still want to do every single day. You can also get normal draw tickets from here. You can see for 300. I've only got 305, but this is all dailies do they allow you to go into the shop of that prestige um, section and you can actually get yourself limited draw tickets for tatsumaki or whoever you want to save for normal draw tickets plus some wills uh, a couple extra stickers here some stack of energy for stamina if that's what you're looking for and then some extra cds for your collection purposes okay so that's how dailies work guys so you will unlock your dailies uh, by progressing through the game and doing the story modes and then from there you can actually just farm these as much as you possibly can now these dailies will also go towards your achievements for the serious training so it is definitely worthwhile unlocking guys and focusing on because you will get quite a few of these tokens throughout time uh, and it's one of your only real free to play ways to get tokens for characters that are coming up in the near future okay so just wanted to talk about the dailies and what they're all about now remember these dailies will not give you tokens for doing the actual dailies but that doesn't mean you don't get tokens for actually doing the event itself so for example if i go here and i pick up one of these uh daily which i will right now see what they have available play any movie and clear it with a score above 2500 play stylish guy on nightmare and clear the movie uh sure let's do that one because it gives you the most amount of points okay so if i go to stylish guy on nightmare let's hope i can even access it right now let's see if i can you'll see here <clears throat> that doing the event itself may not the daily itself may not give me that but I don't have Stylish Guy unlocked yet, so I have to still finish that. Is that Stylish Guy actually? No, this is Stylish Guy. Perfect. I have Nightmare right here. So you can see here, uh, these will give me tokens though, right there. World Silver will come from the actual, um, like the actual event itself, not the daily. So you can do this and still get yourself what you need in regards to getting yourself uh, World Silver through doing dailies. Not again, not from the daily, but from the actual event itself that you're performing on. Okay, so that's how this works, guys. Just wanted to talk about this real quick because I think a lot of people are confused about their dailies. So just remember, hit the phone icon over here, go to Team Prestige, and you can go ahead and teleport directly to this. Now, that's how you do the cinema ones. I'm going to talk about each one real quick because I know a lot of people have been very confused with the Blizzard ones, especially. So the Blizzard team ones, these ones are mostly dedicated to commissions. Okay, <clears throat> so if I go to the eyebrow group here, Sorry, eyelash, eyelash group. You guys can see they have dailies as well. So it's pretty straightforward. So one is, for example, uh, effectively evading damage is important. Uh, please clear one commission campaign for the Blizzard group with the entire team preserving full HP by the end. That's a hard one. So you probably don't want to do that one here. You can see dealing damage that is equal to 20% of the enemy's HP during the break state. So the break state is when they are uh, when their uh, composure bar reduction is done. And I'll talk about stats as well too in another uh, video. But you want to essentially pick the one that makes the most sense for you, right? So if you can't do this break state one and you can't do the morale one here, uh, you know, use the moral type characters to finish. So please clear three commissions only uh, for the Blizzard group with moral type characters only. So you got to kind of look at what you can do, right? If you have a good moral type character and you only want to use one, then just use one character and finish it off. You can even do rank ones, guys. You don't have to do any of the harder ranks. So just pick the one that makes the most sense for you and try to do that daily. So for example, this one here, I think is going to be probably the easiest one because moral type characters, you can just do rank ones, right? Just go in and do a rank one three times on auto, and you're done. You don't have to worry about it. Worry about it. So I'm going to go and track this quest and we'll be finishing that one. Now, there's the next one here for dailies, which is also going to be the uh, the pro gamer group, which you lock at level 30. Uh, I'm missing only one extra group. I think it's probably level 35 or, or not 35, maybe higher than that. I haven't got there yet. But here, if we go teleport to the arcade center reception, now this unlocks at level 30. You have to finish the quest. And it's also in cities, city F, which you don't have unlocked until, again, 
level 30, right? So when you get here, it's the same scenario, right? You talk to the receptionist, she'll have a daily for you. And the, this is an important one, okay guys? Because you need to actually read what they're telling you to do. These are Panzer World games. So for example, clear any stage three times in Panzer World 1. Great, that's a simple one. Any stage counts, just do it three times, you're done. Here you can see here, it tells you specifically in stage one of one, dodge all the obstacles and clear with a score of 2000. Again, fairly straightforward. And this one here also is dodge all obstacles in stage one, two. So let's say you picked one of these two and you did stage one, three, one, four, one, five, and you didn't know what stage you're asking for, you're not gonna get the achievement. So pick the one that makes the most sense for you. So for example, this one's the easiest. Let's go ahead and pick that one uh, and we'll get this one done, okay? So track quest. And then you can go ahead and do that, all right? So there you guys go. That's how the dailies work in this game. Now, I'm obviously missing one, but uh, as you continue playing the game, you'll unlock the last one as well, too. And uh, it'll, it'll help you guys gain more silver. So remember, the actual dailies will not provide you guys any world silver, but the ability to do them uh, and do the stages that you haven't done before will, in fact, give you world silver in the actual game mode itself. All right, so cinema game mode. Panzer Dragons game mode, and then lastly, of course, the Blizzard Eyebrow Commissions uh, by finishing. Actually, that one doesn't give you any, any World Silver. That's just commissions. So that's the only one that actually doesn't give you that. All right, guys. So that explains the dailies, all right? Now, best ways to get yourself World Silver. So number one, to be honest with you, the best ways is doing your, your, your quest and your side quest. Getting those done, they, get, they net you the fastest and most amount uh, of everything you need. EXP, credits, etc. Another really good place to get it is obviously is your achievements, okay? Your achievements are going to be a big part of it. As you're going through the game, just note they don't give you a red dot to look, so you go back, go back once in a while and also look. Plus, just a lot of people are stuck on this. This is the share button you want to use right here that will actually let you share your accomplishments and give you that achievement that you were looking for for the series training, okay? I'll do series training uh, day five as well too when it's when, when I'm ready today. Um, so that's one way. Secondly, of course, is, is going to be, um, so side quest, main quest, and then your, um, uh, uh, what's the name, your achievements, okay? The the most net you can get one time is beating Pluton, beating Ancient King, and Sky King. Those are the three major raid bosses currently available in the game. Each one of those will give you a 1,000 each one time, okay? If you haven't checked out the video for Pluton and Ancient King, I've already done it. Go check it out. You can see how the fight works, but it's a balanced fight. Essentially, you versus the raid boss with no impressions, no extra food, no nothing. Uh, it's just whatever character you decide to choose, they're balanced out against the boss. So any character works, right? As long as you're good at the character and you have good timely dodges, you're you're golden for that one. So that's another way. You get a thousand of those. And then, of course, you can get yourself mystery tokens, complimentary letters, uh, figurines, and all that jazz that will also give you guys some extra world 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 silvers. Um, and then, and then lastly, um, not lastly, but I mean, this is also another option, is doing these bosses around the maps, right? So doing these, um, here, I'll show you guys. You guys already know what this is all about anyways, but here I'll show you. These bosses here will give you guys three difficulties. Each difficulty will have a requirement that you need to accomplish. Once you accomplish the requirement, you get yourself some world silver. So that's another great way to do that. Now going back and also doing the story modes of things you miss is another thing you have to also do because there's a lot of them out there that people haven't accomplished. So for example, this one here, uh, if I finish it, challenge rewards, I get 20, 30, and 50. So an easy way to do uh, to get yourself world silvers. So definitely go around, guys. Collect all of these. Finish as many difficulties as you can. And don't worry if you don't get all three stars. Even getting 20 world silver finishing one star is better than having none, right? So focus on that uh, and try to get that done. Now, um, another way to do it, every character you have, every character you possess... It's a one-time thing, of course, is going in and doing their gameplay training progress, okay? If you finish it, you get yourself 50 tokens. So, for example, here, if I go to training program, once I finish this whole thing, you get yourself the 50 tickets or 50 world silver. It's also a great way to learn how to use your character and what they do and what they're all about. So, highly recommend, guys, do that for all of your characters. I'm going to be doing that personally because I have to go get, I'm still going to get, trying to get Tatsumaki, uh, and I've, I've failed every pity. So, definitely do that as well, too, guys, and don't, don't stress um on like com being a completionist right it's, it's something that's going to happen over time this game's not a one-time shot one day thing it's going to take time to get uh, to get that now collectibles um hold on let me just show you let me just finish this collectibles don't give you any um world silver but the achievements themselves do so make sure you are in fact using the uh, getting the achievements done as much as you possibly can okay it's very important that you do that because th there's a lot of world silver for achievements uh, and you don't want to miss out on those. I think that pretty much covers it all. Um, 
let me just make sure I have everything I need to make to, to ensure that we have all the details you guys are looking for. So quests we talked about, uh, character training we talked about, deployment doesn't give you any world silver. Uh, hero, oh yeah, here we go. So story, make sure you do the story, okay? So the main story right here, by completing these, you're going to get yourself silver as well. You can see here I got four out of six. I got to go back and do this because here it gives you 50 by completing six out of six. So go back here, complete all the stories, make sure you complete every single one of them. And don't forget the hero forum as well. Hero forum here. This will also give you guys, the legend mode will also give you guys um, some tokens. You can see here I, I need to get the 61, so I'm one off. So I got to finish that one as well too. Uh, and then also there's one for Saitama with, when he's looking for a job, right? So there's that option. Now, there's also the, um, inside the Hero Association, there's a simulation mode as well. I'm going to go to show you guys right now what that is. So let me go back to simulation, Hero Association, headquarters. You'll unlock this as you level up. This is part of the story, so you have to actually get through a certain point of the game in order to get here. Um, but simulation is, is very difficult. Fights with gimmicks, but will give you guys will, credits if I recall, as well as... Um, the world silver okay so here let me show you here we go and then if you go to the command uh not command, is it command center no it's not command center it's the arms room right in the arms room there's this uh su special supervisor called the simulation device so if i click on this right there's different modes of simulation here as long as you do them you're getting yourself rewards right so there's credits there's uh memory sorry memories and you get yourself uh there you go the world silver 100 at a time now these are very difficult fights okay so it's gonna take this is gonna take time you can see here you can choose will as well at 36 and then as you go further down there's even more credits to to be applied so there's a lot of ways to currently get this guys uh this mode here is very difficult but it's absolutely worth doing and then if you look over here there's another one called combat mailstorm which you also will unlock at level 35 which will give you guys uh, rewards here you guys can see 100 some some um, 100 tokens here some summoning uh, tickets normal tickets and as well as some some world silver and credits okay so there's that as well and then lastly there's the uh, abyssal wanderer which is like a tower almost like a tower uh, game which you can also net yourself some rewards as well too so there's many ways to do it guys i just want to make sure i covered enough of this for you so you understand what's available to you as a player um so don't worry about it running any, out anytime soon it will eventually run out but i'm assuming they'll probably supplement it with another form of um of gameplay that you can collect oh here's another way to, uh, way to get some silver check your mail for your heroes check your mail for your heroes sometimes you'll open an envelope and surprise you'll get yourself silver sometimes you don't so make sure you check this area as well so i think guys i've pretty much covered most of it if there's anything i missed please let me know in the comment section um but yeah abyssal wanderer is a uh is something you have to unlock at level 25 and you have to do the story quest to unlock it and then it's in the arcade okay so any of the arcade will have it it's usually a red machine in the back and you can do it anytime it is a difficult mode but it's a lot of fun and it is time consuming and it's a weekly reset so definitely do that as well all right guys this is pain hope you enjoyed the video hope it was informal uh if, if you guys have any questions uh any comments any concerns of course let me know in the comment section and i'm more than happy to answer your questions all right guys see you guys in the next one